Welcome back to BJC and the Campus Renewal Project. I'm Joe Lewandowski with McCarthy. Today is Friday, June 23rd. As we enter the summer months here, we're excited to show you what the team's got going on. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Well, school is out and you know what that means? Interns. We have some amazing talent from around the country joining us this year to help us get this project built. I'd like to introduce the team to you now. Hi, I'm McKenna Jasper. I'm from Missouri s and and I'm joining the Enclosures team this summer at BJC. Um, this is my first internship with McCarthy and I'm super excited to be here. Hi, I'm Brady Bockert. I'm from the University of Central Missouri. This summer I'll be joining the uh, self-performing concrete team for the second summer in a row and I'm looking forward to seeing all the progression that uh, the site's had since I've been uh, gone. Hi, my name is Madison Alexander. I attend North Carolina a and State University. This is my first McCarthy internship and I'm looking forward to having an amazing summer. My name is Casey Martin. I'm from, I go to Mizzou and this is my first internship with McCarthy as a carpenter's apprentice and I'm excited to be here. Hi, my name is Thomas Crosley. Uh, I go to SIUE Edwardsville. Uh, it's my first internship this summer and I'm excited to be here. As the concrete team is reaching the podium level, that's level five, we're gonna see some of the most technically difficult work that the team has encountered on the project to date. That level is where we see the cantilevered slab come out to create what we call the west projection. That work requires some unique shoring and post-tension construction, so the team is hyper-focused on making sure that that work gets put in place safely with high quality and right on schedule. Over in Hudland Park, you can see the tennis court renovations taking shape. One of our partners, Sled Rock Construction, is doing an amazing job coordinating with BJ and the other subcontractors to make sure that we get that first tennis court open by the end of summer. As the concrete work climbs to the sky, the fit-out work is not far behind. Our trade partners from Sacked Electric, Icon Mechanical, DeLuca Plumbing, Engineered Fire Protection, TJ Weiss, among many others, are doing an amazing job coordinating that work. You can see that work going in, coordinating getting all of that work in in the tight space that we have above the ceilings in the hospital environment. Along with the fit out work, we've also seen our final functional team start its work here on site. That's the building enclosure. Knee House is doing a great job getting the framing and sheathing on on the north side of the building, wrapping that around to the west. The team has a great plan to get some prefabricated panels flown onto the building on the east side. And from there, we're gonna continue putting on the limestone, infill the windows and continue up to the tower where we'll see the prefabricated unitized curtain wall going in place. If you've driven by the main entry to the hospital, you've seen some real progress around that new drop-off canopy and entry vestibule that the Plaza Entry Team has been working on. We're going to see a shift in how patients experience their arrival here to the hospital in the next few months. We'll be making sure that we work with the team to communicate out so that all that transition goes really smooth. Well, here in late June, you can see the team working hard through these dog days of summer to get this project built for Barnes Jewish Hospital. As always, if you'd like to know more about the project, check us out at bjc.org construction, and we'll see you next time.